Charlotte Hook, the name in lane one. Keep an eye on her throughout her career. Great recruit for Stanford. Uh, look at Isabel Statton, how long she stayed under there. That was just awesome. Let's see if she does it again off this wall. You can see the yellow mark there. The second one is 15 meters out. You have to come up by then. It's a 25-yard pool, but it's measured in meters to that buoy. Correct, yes, which is very confusing for everybody, but just know when it's yellow, you better be up. The second yellow. The second yellow, not the first yellow. And now we go to the backstroke portion. Isabel Statton of Cal in lane number four looking for her first IM championship at the Pac-12. She has a pair of victories in the 200 back each of the last two years. So this is her stroke, and she is using it to forge a lead over Leah Polanski, her Cal teammate, two lanes above. This flip turn right here is one of the most difficult flip turns to do, but when you do it, it is so much faster. Keep your eye on Isabel Statton. This is not her strongest stroke. She's still really good. She can still hang in there, but we've got going on right now. We have got a race because Polanski and, is really catching up. And Polanski is a breaststroker. She was seventh in the 200 breast at the Pac-12s last year. And she's using this breaststroke to take over the lead of Isabel Statton. Here we go as we head into this freestyle. Make sure this this is just bounce off the wall. You've got to make it clean, but bounce off the wall. And just everything you've got. Polanski's breaststroke gave her the lead. Does she have enough in freestyle to hold off the likes of Odgers and Stadden? That was the final turn. Leah Polanski, longtime member of the Israeli national team, turning toward the finish in lane number six. And she will take the 200 IM in a time of 154.02. That's the seventh fastest time in the country this year. Leah Polanski of Cal. Oh, throw in the pumpers. 